Today we are going to take a look at tri-substituted benzyl rings. How to name tri-substituted benzyl rings. What are tri-substituted benzyl compounds? When we substitute three hydrogen atoms on a benzyl ring with other groups or atoms, the product formed is known as a tri-substituted benzyl ring. Remember, if we substitute three hydrogen atoms on benzyl rings with other groups, what we form is called a tri-substituted benzyl ring. Tri means three. Let's take for instance, if we have a benzyl ring like this, this is a benzyl ring. Remember in the previous video, I made you to know that benzene has the formula of C6H6. The six carbon atoms are here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Why the six hydrogen atoms are also here? Each of the carbon atoms on the ring carry one hydrogen atom. So the six carbon atoms here carry six hydrogens. It simply means that we have hydrogens all over here. But when we draw the structure in the skeletal form, we don't display the hydrogen. But bear in mind that hydrogen atoms are located on each of these carbons. Each of the carbons carry one each. Now, if I remove the hydrogen atom on this carbon, and I replace with something like a methyl group. I remove the one of the H and I replace it with a group. This is called a mono-substituted benzene ring. Mono, which means one. I removed only one. Now, if I replace another hydrogen on this same compound, if I remove the H here and replace with another methyl, simply means that I have replaced two hydrogens on the ring. In such a case, we call it a di-substituted benzene ring. Di, which means two. If I go ahead and replace another H, maybe the one here, with another methyl group, you notice that I have substituted a total of three hydrogen atoms on this ring. I have replaced them with methyl groups. Because I have substituted three hydrogen atoms with another group, I will call this thing a tri-substituted benzene ring. Now, how do we name this? We we'll first of all number the carbons in the ring in a way that will give these substituents or these attachments a lower number. Now, if I follow the clockwise direction in naming, here will be my number one. This is my number two, three, four, five, and six. Now, following the clockwise direction, I will have those substituents, which is the methyl groups, at positions one, three, and five, which is positions one, three, five. Let's call that 135. If I number following the anti-clockwise direction, I will have the three attachments at positions one, two, three, four, five. That is one, two, three, four, five, six. If I follow this way, these three groups will be at positions one, three, and five, which is the same 135. So whether we number from this direction or this direction, or we even, even if we number from here or from here, anywhere you number from, you will discover that these attachments or metal groups will have the same positions, which is 135. So we are free to number from any direction. In that case, the name of the structure becomes, write the positions of the attachments first. This one is at position 1, this one is at position 3, and this one, remember this is my direction, and this one is position 5. And because there are three of them, they are similar groups, this methyl, this methyl, and this methyl, and they are positions 1, 3, 5. So I will show that there are three, and how do I show that there are three of them? I'll say try. This is 135, which is their positions. How many of them? Three. Try. And the name of each one is methyl. So this is 135 trimethyl. Then the chain, the ring, is benzene. So the name of this structure is 135 trimethyl benzene. Let's take a look at another example of a tri substituted benzene ring. This is another tri-substituted benzene ring. As you can see, we have three groups which were used to replace the hydrogen atoms on the ring. Now, how do we name this? 
So you can see, we no longer have the same type of group. In this case, the groups here are different. This is a halogen group. This is hydroxyl group, that is OH. And this is carboxylic acid group. Remember in the previous video, I told you that when a benzene carries carboxylic acid functional group, that is the COOH, this alone is called benzoic acid. This alone is called benzoic acid. Why am I choosing this one? I know that a benzene ring that carries OH group is called phenol. But in this case, the first name I'm going to choose is not phenol. I'm going to choose the one of benzoic acid. Why am I choosing benzoic acid? Because if I check the priority of functional groups, the order of respect of functional groups, you discover that COOH, which is the carboxylic group, has higher priority than the hydroxyl group. In terms of priority of functional groups, the carboxylic acid functional group, which is COOH, has higher priority than OH. It is respected more than the OH group. So my parent chain should be the one bearing the COOH here, which is the benzoic acid. That would be the parent name. Therefore, my numbering will start from the COOH because it has the highest priority. So this is my number one. Now, after numbering here as my one, I will check OH and the halogen, which has higher priority among functional groups. We discover that OH has a higher priority. So I will follow the side of OH. Remember, COOH has the highest among these three. So his position will be position one. The next priority among bromine and OH, OH has higher priority than halogen. Therefore, this place will be my number two. The OH position is my two, so I'm moving this way now. Three, four, five, six. Remember, you cannot say one, two, and move backward again. If you have started moving this way, you continue to the end. So how do I name this? I have bromine at position six, I have hydroxyl at position two, then the rest is benzoic acid. Remember, this alone, this one alone is called benzoic acid. So I will give the position and name of bromine. I will give position and name of hydroxyl. Then I will call the rest benzoic acid. So how do we name it? I have here as bromo. I have here as hydroxyl. We have to follow alphabetical order. Bromo will come before hydroxyl in the alphabetical order. So the name will become at position six. We have bromo. Six bromo. At position two, we have hydroxy. So I'll say two hydroxy. Then the last is the parent, which is benzoic acid. Benzoic acid. Now remember that in between a number and an alphabet, you separate them with a hyphen. This is an alphabet, this is a number. Separate with hyphen, number, alphabet, hyphen. So the name of the structure is 6 bromo 2 hydroxy benzoic acid. Let's take another example on this. Okay, how do we name this? If you look at this structure, you discover that this is a tri-substituted benzene ring. Remember this. Whether we present the double bond in benzene ring this way or with a circle, both are the same. This shows that the double bonds are in constant rotation within the ring. Now, I have my OH group, I have my methyl group, and I have my ethyl group. And these are acyl groups. Methyl and ethyl are both acyl groups. This is the hydroxyl group. And you know, the hydroxyl group has higher priority. Therefore, my parent name here will be the one in which hydroxyl group is attached to the ring. So this is my parent name. And you know that when benzene carries OH group on it, it is called phenol. So phenol is the parent name for this. All I need to do is to attach methyl and ethyl to the name. 
then it ends with Philor, because OH has the higher priority among the three, has the highest. So OH position is my position one. Now, should I move to the right or to the left in numbering? This way, I have methyl. This way, I have ethyl. I will have to follow the alphabetical order. This is methyl. This is ethyl. This is E. This is M. In the alphabetical order, I will follow this way. E comes before M. So this is my number 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now, how do I name this? I have ethyl at position 2. I have methyl at position 6. Now, I'll write the name in alphabetical order. This is 2 ethyl 6 methyl. Then, the parent's name is phenol. In between a number and an alphabet, you put a hyphen. Alphabet number, hyphen, number alphabet, hyphen. So the name of the structure is 2 ethyl, 6 methyl, phenol. I want you to try this by yourself. Give me the name of this structure. Remember, this is not a tri substituted ring. This is tetra substituted. I have four different groups. Four groups, though they are the same. One is different. This is methyl. Not this. When methyl group is attached to the benzene ring, the compound formed is called tuline. A benzene ring with methyl is known as tuline. So this is our tuline. The name will end with tuline. Tuline, all you need to do is to number from here. This is one. 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Give me the name of this structure. Just tell me position of this with the name, position of this with the name, position of this with the name. Then it will end with Tulane. Just know that this one alone is Tulane. So give us the name attaching these ones. Remember, MO2 is called Nitro. Nitro, that is the name of MO2. So give me the name of this structure. Go into the comment box, type the name of this structure, and submit as a comment. I will look at your answer and reply to you. Remember, it will end with Tulane because a methyl group attached to benzene is called Tulane. All I need you to tell me is the positions and names of this. I remember NO2 is called Nitro. So it's less for you to tell me. One, two, three, trinitro to me, or you tell me so you know what to say. Type the name of this into the comment box. Thank you for watching this video. Do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.